Hey everybody, Nick here. Today I want to talk about frets and when you need to have fret maintenance done. Sometimes you can do it yourself, sometimes you can have a uh, guitar repairman do it, sometimes you need a luthier to take care of this stuff for you. So recently I had the frets on this 20 something year old Stratocaster completely redone. They were taken out and replaced. My favorite luthier of anybody is Jeff Branch. He lives not too far from over here in White Lake. He's been doing it for a long time. He does excellent work. He's repaired some guitars that I've had. Does amazing work. He's a great guy. He also does professional um, restoration of vintage instruments for elderly music and a bunch of other people. Anyway, he's a very accomplished guy. He knows his stuff. Um, there are certain things that, with frets in particular, that you will notice when they need to be fixed somehow. The first one is when you've been playing on them for a long, long, long time, and the frets that used to be kind of round end up getting kind of flat and a little bit sharp on the edge. You might have noticed that if you're like running your nail across it, you can feel it like it's almost like shaving your nail a bit because the edges are sharp because the the point that used to be the fret that used to be round is now worn down it's getting kind of flat edges a lot of times you can fix that up with a fret dressing or fret polishing they call them what you do is you take like a bunch of you can have if you're comfortable doing it you can try it i've done it myself um, you can take like some blue painters tape and completely cover your neck with it except for the frets you want all the frets exposed because you need to take like a very very extra ultra fine brillo pad steel wool and not a brillo pad brillo pad's got soap steel wool with no soap on it and you need to rub them along the fret after this is completely taped off but basically i'm just talking about it but basically i'm just telling you about it right now you put the blue tape over here you just polish them off real quick and if you polish them the right way it's you'll you'll notice one your frets are a lot smoother it'll play better and those edges that were kind of sharp are now a little bit more rounded off and it's easier to play that's the first most basic thing and that's like a fret polishing fret leveling is a little bit different. That one I wouldn't mess with. That one you need like a guitar, a good guitar repair person or a luthier. Luthier is somebody who makes or repairs guitars on a more of a higher end level. Um, guitar repairmen can do luthier work, but they're a little bit different. So if you need them leveled, you'll notice that when thing, you'll notice that you start getting fret buzz that you didn't have before. And the reason that happens is because you start wearing certain ones down. When I played this one, the majority of time I would play is like right between this fifth fret and twelfth fret. I like the way. This, the voicing was that on guitar. I like the range of it. I like the feel of it. And I like end up finding something in whatever song I'm playing to be in this range, part, partial chords, because I like the way it sounds. It's just me. So what I'm happening, well, my frets over here were starting to get lower. I polished them once, polished them twice, polished them three times, steel wool, and that worked. But then the other ones were kind of like the same height. So the reason why I noticed that they needed a leveling was because they would start to fret out a little bit. And when I would bend things, they wouldn't bend up that second note. As soon as I would bend up, you'd hear them hit another fret and they would go like lower or higher or something because now they're kind of like routed out just a little bit in there. So fret leveling can fix that sometimes, meaning that you take all of them down to a point where they're all the same height. You can only do that if you have taller frets or if they're, you don't need to take them down so much that the frets are too low after you do the leveling. But mine were to the point where I just needed them completely replaced. So I had Jeff Branch again. He took all my frets out, completely replaced them and gave me different frets on here actually. He gave, I wanted to know if he could put different frets on here, which I knew he could, but I, that was my answer. I didn't like the original Fender frets that were on here. I do like the frets that are on my Mexican standard because they're nice and low. I like low frets, I don't like high frets. So what he put on here are more like Gibson frets. These are much lower than the actual standard Fender frets and they're a little bit skinnier too, so they're nice small frets that I can actually get up to here. I can actually play a lot easier. Actually, this is, the guitar was very, very hard to play up here because the frets are so big and I felt like I was like walking on like parking blocks. It was a weird feeling. But these are nice and small. I can play up here better. So thanks Jeff for that. I can actually play my guitar much better now. So those are three main things that can happen with the frets. Um, one of them is if you just need them polished, if you need them leveled, or if you need them completely replaced. These were replaced. That's about, I don't know, anywhere from two-ish to three hundred dollars to four hundred dollars depending on the guitar and the, the, the work that needs to be done. The leveling is going to be cheaper than that. Uh, probably 150, 200 I'm guessing. Polishing is probably just under that 70 or 80. You can do a polishing yourself if you take, like I said, the uh, the blue tape, put it between there and get some really thin um, light steel wool, brush them back and forth to smooth it out. I mean, if you've done any fret work or, or anything like that on your end, if whether you're a luthier or not, that'd be kind of interesting to know how much you've actually done on your own if you've got like any extra courage to do this on yourself because I don't want to mess with my guitar too much. And let me know um, if you've had any fret jobs done recently or what kind of frets you like. Do you like big frets? Do you like scallop necks? Do you like small frets, high frets? Or do you like fretless? Maybe you're a bass player um, or you have a fretless guitar, which I kind of wanted, but I uh, haven't got one yet. Anyways, let me know your thoughts. Talk to you soon. Bye.